welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra, and today I want to work on these coaster molds. Um, I don't know what to call this. Uh, it's we can call it a not so crushed velvet, crushed velvet. I don't know, but anyway, I have uh, just over an ounce of resin mixed in my little cup here, just clear resin. I'm going to add some of the Maypring Dazzling Diamond, just a bit. I don't want this to overpower or take over my project. And I say a little, I mean a little bit. I will be using mica powder, but that will be at a later time in the project. And I will be using some of this a white pearl. This brand of mica powder is no longer available. I believe any pearl, uh, white pearl mica work, or no mica at all. You don't really need mica. So I mix that little bit of that sparkle in there. So now I'm going to move these out of the way. Got two little cups here. And I'm going to divide this ounce up the best I can into these two cups. I'm going to try and get it as even as I can. Alrighty, I see this one's got more. And I want to thank you all for your prayers. I'm feeling pretty good. Still waiting for the test results from my doctor. Those of you who do not know, I do have Crohn's disease. And I am in a flare. Haven't been in a flare in a while. Um, I had my colon removed in 2019, so I've been feeling pretty good. Little issues here and there, but I don't know. We're a little concerned, but that's not why we're here today. So I've got that mixed up. It's about the same. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, I got these two colors here. I'm going to be using my Distress Oxide Reinkers. They're for the ink pads. And I'm going to be using Prize Ribbon and Dusty Concord. And I'm gonna shake it up because all the pigment is down here. It's a pigment, it's a pigment and a dye um, hybrid. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the Prize Ribbon. I'm going to do 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are very tiny little drops. A little stick here. We're going to mix this up. I haven't used these colors in resin. I don't know how they're going to react to the resin because not all pigment is the same. So we mix this up really good. That's the prize ribbon. And now we got the Dusty Concord. We're gonna do 10 drops of this as well. One, two, three, four. Do 10 drops of that. Let's see how this works in this. These pigments were not designed for resin, but I found that they work in resin. It's a pretty purple. It's dark on camera. I don't know, maybe not. I'm looking at my monitor. I still haven't brightened that thing up yet. But what I see in front of me is a very pretty, but it's kind of streaky still. So I'm gonna mix this up for a second. We're gonna start with the prize ribbon. Just want to make sure that it's mixed, thoroughly mixed. And we're just going to pour it in the center of the coaster. I'm going to scrape out all that I can. I 
Okay. And then we got the Dusty Concord. Pour that. Okay, now I'm just going to take this and that's that. We're just putting enough resin in to co cover the bottom of the mold. There's that. I'm going to take my heat gun. Now we are going to take saran wrap. Um, I tried this with um, other types of plastics. I've tried it with a hat, um, one side of a food saver bag. I've tried it with a little sandwich bag, half of a sandwich bag, and nothing works like saran wrap, but I don't want to trap any air down in that saran wrap. So I am going to attempt to, my gloves are not cooperating with this, I'm going to lay that over and I'm just going to let it naturally fall into the resin. Pick up the sides, let the sides fall in. Pick up this side. Pick up this like that. Okay, follow me. And now we're going to pinch and push. I will be turning my heat mat on. Uh, I have it at my heat mat at the lowest setting, 122 degrees. And I will have that on. But there's the first one. I want to get that down in there like that. The problem with the other plastics is how this is taking the shape like that. The other plastics weren't holding that shape. They were just, you'd put that shape in and it would just collapse under itself, under the plastic. It would just come up flat. So, move this. I'll move this one over a little bit. Make sure there's no hair. And we're just going to let that fall into the resin. There we go. Pick that up. So I want the air to, I don't want to trap any air under this plastic wrap. Okay, that's down. Now we're going to pinch. If you have to pick this up so that the plastic wrap will move, then by all means do so. And that is it for now. After, I will turn my heat mat on for, well actually I'm not going to turn my heat mat on. I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes and I might have to come back in and fiddle around with this a little bit. I hope not. I hope it keeps what it looks like. If I do, uh, I'll let you know. But this should hold it and then after the 30 minutes, after it's sat for 30 minutes, 
then I'll turn my heat mat on and let it cure under the heat mat. It will not, the heat mat won't, my heat mat will not affect the plastic. So I'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes and then turn the heat mat on. Um, if I have to mess with it, I will let you know. So I will see you for the next step. Okay, this is cured. I did not have to come in and manipulate the plastic anymore. I'm just pulling it off. It's still, it's not like 100% cured. It's, uh, it's cured enough to where I can do this. When you do this, you want to make sure that you're not pulling up on the resin. You want to take your time because you don't want to accidentally demold your um, piece. You don't want the next part to seep under it. So you just want to tease this plastic out from the folds. There you go. Now let's try this one. I'm not lifting. I'm just finding areas that pull up a little better. And I can see which way the fold is, and I can see where how the plastic is in those folds. So I'm not pulling up. Just not don't want to unmold this. So this part you really have to take your time. There you go. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Now I've got just under five ounces of resin poured and I'm going to add some white pigment you can use any white pigment um, I'm just using this one here this is this one from little windows I will have it linked and I'm going to Mix it in. Get all those, get it mixed in really good so there's no streaks. See the streaks? I don't want that. And I had gotten this idea from a fellow YouTuber. I'll have her picture on the screen. Epoxy me that. If you're not familiar with her channel, Miss Tammy is really good. Really good. And another channel is custom created handmade crafts and I will have Beverly's channel her picture up here and if you haven't checked her channel out I would recommend that you would check her channel out both these ladies are really good at their crafts now I'm going to take some of this white pearl uh, mica powder if I can get it in there I want to add two decent scoops in there one more little one there we go let me get that all off of there there we go. We'll mix that in. 
you want to mix your mica powder in really good. And when you think you've got it mixed up good enough, you want to mix it up some more. So I'm going to spend some time mixing this up. As soon as I get this completely mixed up, I will be back. But Miss Tammy from Epoxy Me That, she, uh, she's the one that inspired me to do this. Um, I don't think it's the same way she did hers, but I've seen a lot of people do it, and they do it with uh, mica powders and this is the way I wanted to do mine. So I'm going to pour and I'm going to try and dome this. Uh, it's very uneven in there, so I'm going to do my best. I'm just going to push the help the resin. Okay. And now we're going to try and dome this one. And don't want to pour too much at once. I do want to help it get to the get over the bumps and grooves that doing this had created because it's very uneven in this mold right now it's very late at night my husband is asleep all right I think that one's good and it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't mix up too much resin. That's okay. I think I can get just a little bit more in this one. Not much. And I think I can get a little bit more in this one. This one's pretty much domed. Okay. Now I'm going to give a little spritz with some alcohol. I'm using 99% isopropyl alcohol. I will not be turning on my heat mat for the first hour. After that, I will turn on for an hour. And we'll go from there, and I will be back for the demold. Okay, these are cured. I am very curious to see how these turned out. Um, I see I have some overspill. Can always take care of that later. Bring them both out of the mold. This one I have more overspill than the other one. We'll get that taken care of. Okay. Ooh, look how pretty that looks. It looks so pretty. That is so pretty. This is the prize ribbon. This is um this this is surprising. This is a blue oxide but it turned out more of a purple tone and this is the dusty concord that one turned out how i expected it to this this one surprised me in the color i did make two more off camera so i wanted a set and these are the two i made off camera Made them at the same time, but just off camera. Aren't those pretty? Wow, those turned out pretty. I guess you could call this a crushed velvet. 
Yeah, you could call this a crushed velvet. This is not using mm -hmm. the mica powder. I've seen the of the ones where they take the um, chameleon powders and they or mica powders and they brush the clear resin. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do something a little bit different. And this is what I came up with. This one might need a little top coat. I might top coat all of them. I might not. That doesn't really doesn't really need it. The coasters. I will clean up the edge. What do you think? Do you like how that turned out? Do you like do you like these? And these two colors are in Distress Oxide. This is Mowed Lawn, and this one is the Picked Raspberry. So we have the Mowed Lawn, the Picked Raspberry, the um, Prize Ribbon, Ribbon, and the Dusty Concord. Those are the four colors that I chose. So I think these turn out beautiful. And I, don't forget I used the Dazzling Diamond to get that sparkle in there. I don't know if the camera is picking up. Let me see if I can zoom in. Let's see if we can get that sparkle. See the sparkle in there? That turned out so pretty. So pretty. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this? Do you like the way this turned out? I do. I like the way these turned out. I like the way these turned out a lot. I love the colors. I love, I like, I like everything about these, the backs. Um, notice this one did have some bubbles pop up. I did not turn my heat mat on um, at all during the curing stage of this. Um, yeah, so. So this is my version of the crushed velvet. Everything I used, I'll have linked in the description box below. Um, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know what's your favorite color. Um, I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And to my subscribers, I truly appreciate you. You have a great day and God bless. Bye.